How do you honor your father and mother? So as you know, you're not in the house anymore, you are married or you have a family of your own. Um, once you're grown, have a family, but they're still trying to enforce their rules on you and your family. You want me to go? No, well, go. I'll just Where? quick say there's a leave and cleave. I mean, yeah. really, that's a... Leave and cleave, yes. yes. Exactly. That's so, exactly where I was going to go. And Look at us. Okay, next sink. question. Sink. I mean, yeah, if you don't do that, there's always going to be conflict. Yeah. So. And there's a difference between o obedience and honor. So, you know, to leave and to cleave, that's, that's the command of marriage, right? You, you're under your mom and dad's authority when you live in their household. But when you leave, you start a new family. Uh, and you're still in a position all the days of your life to honor your mother and your father. But sometimes we have a mistaken understanding of what honor is. Honor means to hold in high regard. But it, it's different to honor your parents when you're under their authority than it is to when you've you know, like God commanded, when you, the two shall become one, he shall leave his father and his mother and shall cleave only to his wife. And so, you know, sometimes you have to honor from a distance if, it, if the relationship is challenging. For example, I think one of the questions that we got in the first service had to do with um, grandparents uh, or, you know, parents giving their, advice. giving their adult children advice and even in our relationship and how you do that. And you have to be very careful about that. But I think you can honor your mom and dad, even if they're maybe overbearing, they're trying to speak too much into your marriage or too much into your family. Uh, you can honor them without necessarily agreeing with what they're saying. And you can actually even honor them in a very direct way if it gets too much where you draw lines and you say, Mom, you know, if it's like I, I wouldn't go to her parents as much as maybe she would talk to her parents or I would talk to my parents and just say, you know, uh, when you do this X and, and you come into our household and you maybe uh, you say something to my wife, uh, you need to know that that's not acceptable. Um, or if you're going to come in and you're going to criticize or you're going to say things or like a, a, a quick example was my dad. My dad has since gone home to be with the Lord. Uh, he got saved in the later years of his life. But I remember uh, one of the highlights of our kids was my dad would come for Christmas Eve every year. And my dad was like a super generous guy. He, he would come with a black trash bag full of gifts for each of the kids. So they obviously loved Grandpa Mickey. So <laughs> Grandpa Mickey would come Christmas Eve, he'd come to church with us, and then they would get to open his presents on Christmas Eve. And, uh, but my dad was, even though he got saved, he was a little crazy. I mean, he had been involved in some wild stuff, uh, as I shared a little bit last week. But so he would sit there, and I remember when my, our kids were little at Christmas Eve, he'd be like, yeah, kids, if you ever get a chance to go to like an Indian reservation and go in, you know, on a dream quest under a tent and smoke peyote and find your animal guide, you should do it. And I'm like, time out, kids. Don't do that. Go play in the other room, please. And, uh, and then they talked about like my brother. I have a half brother. And he, at that time, was living with his girlfriend. And so my dad says to my kids in one of these settings, he's like, well, they're kind of married in God's eyes. And I went, time out, kids. Uncle Stevie is not married. Uh, he's living together. That's not the same as marriage. And, in our, and I had to like to say to my dad, dad, you can't say that stuff to, to our kids. You may feel like that, and you and I can have those conversations, but don't impose that on my kids. You have to honor. Honor is a two-way street. So uh, I'm going to honor you as my father, but you need to honor me as the head of my own household and honor my wife as the, you know, the head of, of our family. And so if you can't honor that, then there has to be boundaries that are put into place. So that, I think Jane's answer of leave and cleave has to be honored from both different directions. And then I also think that you have to be so careful to not, because um, you want the leave and cleave, but then you can't play it both ways. You know what I mean? Like, if I got mad at Lee, like I couldn't run to my mom and be like, oh my gosh, she's such a jerk, blah, That's blah, blah. Point. And then think that she's not going to have a negative opinion of him or uh, vice versa. Yeah. So there has to be, it really on both sides, That's you can't really, play the, the line with that. Yeah, so. it's a really good point because you'll get over whatever you're upset with your spouse about long before your parents will or you know, you'll move on and then they'll still have a negative effect. So that's a great point.
And would you adjust that based on if your mother and father are believers or not? Like, would it be the same response no matter what, or would you adjust it based if your parents are believers or you not just, believers? You have to filter everything through your faith. So when God gave the command to honor your father and your mother, he didn't say, as long as they're honorable. Uh, honor is a gift that you give. It can't be demanded. And, you know, just by virtue of the fact that there are parents, but you have to process it in your heart and your mind and know how you're honoring them. And you have to be on your guard a little bit, you know, especially around your kids. Because if your values are one thing and your kids are different or, you know, how they run their household is maybe different from yours. When you step into their household uh, and you go back under their roof, then you realize they're going to do things their way. Uh, and you want to respect that. Now, it doesn't mean that you necessarily want to stay there. You know, in some crazy situations, it might not be a safe environment to be in. And you can still be honorable and still have boundaries depending on how healthy the relationship is.